that one. Let's go. Tonight we're looking for an animal that is in the running for the oddest creature on the planet. That's my kind of animal. This is a Western Tarsier. You might not know it, but all Tarsier species are in fact primates and are the only true carnivore in the entire primate family. This nocturnal animal is confined only to islands in Southeast Asia. Its huge eyes and unique body shape is all adapted in order for it to live and hunt in the jungle trees at night. There really is nothing else quite like it. I'm out tonight with Danica, who has been in these jungles for almost eight years. We're capturing a tarsier to try and understand more about them. My name is Danica and I'm primatologist here at Dano Girang. I've been in Sabah for almost eight years now. During that time, I've been overseeing all the primate projects here. At the moment, I'm focusing my work on tarsiers, looking at how tarsiers are using the habitat in this area and looking at their overlapping home ranges. We're studying tarsiers here because very little is known about this subspecies of tarsier. It's found only on the island of Borneo and our study at DG is going to give us that basic information so that we can actually monitor the population over the years. It'll give us some sort of an idea of how things are changing. What I think people should know about tarsiers is that they can't survive in captivity. They, they need to be in the wild. They're only eating things that are alive. So they don't eat any plant material. It's a very unique characteristic about this primate. We hope to understand what tarsiers require in order to succeed in this type of environment. And we want to understand its basic behavior, its home ranging patterns, so that we know how habitat fragmentation, deforestation is impacting its movements. All right, Danica, so what are we going to do tonight? We are gonna go into the forest and we're going to try to catch a tarsier, a male tarsier who we know is living in this area. Awesome, why are we doing that? Well, we have another female who's already collared here. So we want to catch this male, put a collar on him. Then we can see where he's going in relation to where the female's going and see how they're doing in this kind of forest. Tagging and tracking technology is becoming so advanced and efficient that across the world, scientists are using this method to understand more about animals. Collaring animals is a vital tool to understand how animals live and how they use their habitat, and in the case of Danau Girang Field Center, to learn if the fragmented forest is affecting their movement or not. All of this information is invaluable in the fight to save Sabah's forests and wildlife. Danica, how do you usually look for a tarsier? All right, so we're gonna go searching, basically looking for the body only. Tarsiers are lacking layer on their eye that makes the eye shine like a, like a Solaris has. Yeah. So we normally don't see the eye shine. So we're gonna look at about a meter to two meters high in the trees mm -hmm. and try to look for a little brown body that's about this big that's just clinging on. Let's go do it. All right. Joining Danica tonight are research assistants Koko, Lee, and Alut. All are from this part of Sabah and having worked at the Danau Girang Field Center for many years. Their eyes are amazingly adjusted to this jungle and can find almost anything night or day. And sure enough, they soon spotted something hidden amongst the trees. Ah, got one. Let's go. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Got one. So can you show me what we're going to do now? Okay, so we've set up a tarp just here. We're going to get everything out, lay it out on the tarp. Um, mm -hmm. If it's a new individual that we've never caught before, we'll do some body measurements. Okay. Um, and then we'll put a collar on him. Uh, hopefully we'll do it as fast as possible so yeah. we can release him quite soon. 
Why have we changed our lights red? The white lights actually can be quite painful on the eyes. Mm -hmm. So we're turning to red, so it's a little bit softer, uh, and they don't seem to notice the red lights so much. So the oh, weight is 210 grams. Is that big for a tarsier? No, that's about average adult. Okay, so we're gonna take it out of the bag. Then we'll put the collar on because the collar is the most important thing. It's a boy! Oh! It's okay. a boy parts. So they have very powerful legs. They can jump up to about five meters. Um, we also need to be careful because a tarsier can move its head 180 degrees. What? Both directions because they cannot That's move crazy. their eyes. Their eyes are just huge. Yeah, so their eyes are about the same size, if not bigger, than their brain. It has really long fingers. Yeah, and it's got like a rat-like tail. And this tuft at the end of its tail is what's unique to the Borneo species. Mm. Um, he's got fingernails like uh, other primates. He's a, he's a primate. And his, but his toes have also have two claws on them. Here's an interesting fact about Borneo. One tribal group, the Dusun, have a great name for tarsiers. They call it Rukut Rukut, which means bit by bit, because it looks like it's been put together with lots of different animal parts. The eyes of an owl, the ears of a bat, the legs of a frog, and tail of a rat. This odd match of body parts is what makes this animal so cool. Alex, do you mind writing actually? That'd be really helpful. Okay. Um, so head length. In here, if you could write 2.97. Head breadth is 2.50. With the coloring done and all other samples and measurements taken, the tar seer is now ready to be released. The little male doesn't move right away and gives us all one last look before leaping back into the darkness of the rainforest. Providing valuable data that will help Danica understand more about how he uses the habitat and how he interacts with the female in the area. This information will be used to help protect their population in the future. So Danica, how do you feel now that we've released that tarsier out into the wild again? I'm feeling really great about it. It's really nice to be able to have a male and a female in the same range mm -hmm. because we haven't had that too often yet. So we're really going to find out a lot of new information from it. That's amazing. Yeah, and it's really nice to see him jumping off and doing what he does best. Yeah. Jumping quite far in one go. I mean, it was exciting. That was my first time seeing tarsier and seeing it jump off like that. That's just wow. Yeah. It's an amazing experience, I love that. Great, I'm glad. <laughs> With another successful mission completed and valuable data coming in, I'm excited to find out what is next up for me and the scientists here in this jungle paradise.